In this video, we'll see Daniel flying the Harrier. The Harrier is a maneuver that you'll need to master before attempting to learn to hover, since it allows you to get into the hovering position smoothly and in control. It also helps you to learn to slow the plane down gradually. You'll need a plane with light wing loading, big control surfaces, and high throws like the Addiction XL here. Now this maneuver is similar to the elevator, except this time, instead of descending, we're actually flying the airplane level with a nose pointing up at a high angle of attack, 45 degrees or more, and while at a very slow forward airspeed. That's a very fun maneuver because you can make the airplane go anywhere you want while flying at that very slow speed. And once familiar with the concept of the Harrier, you can later attempt pirouetting circles with the airplane. And eventually execute Harrier spot landings, which are very handy, especially when flying off of small strips. To begin the Harrier, start by flying slow and level in calm conditions, and begin to gradually slow the model down until finding you need to apply more and more up elevator to keep it flying level. As in the elevator maneuver, apply the throttle and elevator to maintain that high angle of attack and altitude while using the rudder to steer and the ailerons to keep the wings level. Control inputs need to be smooth and deliberate, you need to avoid jerky movements here. If the CG is too far forward or it's too windy, you may experience wing rock. The lighter the wing loading of the airplane, the better it will perform Harriers. Heavier planes with higher wing loadings just make it harder to perform. Harriers can be easily performed upright and inverted using the same techniques. Just be very careful when doing Harrier circles, keeping the wings level is very important. If you do experience wing rock, apply a little more throttle and try to keep the wings stable with the ailerons and keep the nose higher. 